Yeah, the cat has been on the Jeep. Can't believe the cat's been on the Jeep again. So today's project is we're gonna put some step rails on the JL. Now on the JK, I had the Ace Rock Sliders, which were really cool because they doubled as a step and some hardcore rocker protection. But what I noticed about the Ace Rock Sliders is see this mounting point right here and then the one in the middle and then the one on the end. Those were the only mounting points that the Ace Rock Sliders used. So in theory, these things, the only thing that's keeping them from being equally as strong is just the material that the step board's made out of. These are a molded composite material instead of being, you know, tube steel, which, uh, you know, if you're bashing on the rocks, that's a pretty big difference. But for day-to-day -day use, there's not much difference in strength at all. So I decided to go with these Mopar factory production rails this time around. And the reason is because we live out in the rural part of the county. We have a lot of gravel roads. And as you can see, the sides of the Jeep stay absolutely covered in dirt and grime all the time. And you can hear the rocks. In fact, there's some rocks in the tires right now. When you're going down the road, you can hear the rocks coming out and just really bashing the sides of the Jeep. I've seen pictures on the forums already of guys that have chips on their doors. Brand new Jeep, and they've got chips on the doors. So with these factory ones, you can see how it's one thick... Um, uniform pin a bar down through there basically so once you mount these on the jeep uh, it's going to really do a good job of keeping the rocks off the sides of the jeep so we're going to get started on this project it looks like it's pretty simple because these uh, studs are already pressed in so we should be able to just set these up there put the nuts on there uh, on those pre-pressed studs to hold them in place and that'll give us the opportunity to run the main bolts in should be pretty quick and easy. Not to mention these are considerably less expensive too. Um, so again, if you need some hardcore rock protection, this is not it. If you're gonna be bashing off road, this is not what you want. But for day-to-day -day use, you know, most guys that do minor trails, fire roads, things like that, and you just need some protection for the Jeep and a way to get in and out easier, I think this is the way to go. We didn't have to wash the whole Jeep, but he's getting the cat paws off anyway. I was just going to take the sponge and kind of wash along the rocker panel here get the dirt and grime off before we start to install these things uh, was the plan so let's get one over here and see how it goes all right so the cool thing about the uh, Mopar stuff is that they give you instructions and everything obviously is made specifically for the vehicle factory stuff so it should go on pretty easily you just got six bolts and 12 nuts that's all there is to it so here's the hardware bag they give you and let's make sure we got what we're supposed to have in here looks like we do two four six eight ten twelve nuts and six bolts looks like we're good to go i'm going to put a few of them back in here just to keep the bag from blowing away it's kind of breezy out here so like i said i guess the first plan of attack will be to use the nuts to put on the pre-pressed studs and then we can go ahead and put the main bolts in after that. These things are really lightweight too, so that's cool. That's gonna be a nice feature of them also. So, all right, I'm gonna have to get my assistant to help me hold these up here. All right, so if I can get the camera to focus here that was a piece of cake. Those studs just go right into the holes in the rocker. And we just threaded those right on. Now we can run a bolt into these main ones. And that is the, that's the easiest installation I've ever seen. Piece of cake. These are gonna be awesome. All right, putting the finishing touches on that last main bolt. There is a part number for the passenger side. And make sure it's good and tight. All right, so you can see what I was talking about with the coverage. See how those just really do a good job of covering all the way down the uh, rocker panel. And if you look at this angle here, you can see how it does a good job of covering up the tires. So anything that comes off the tires is probably not gonna smack the door or the hinges 
tear your paint up. This should just do a really good job of providing a good step and some protection. And also, it sticks out far enough to protect you from door dings if you're over in the Walmart parking lot or something. So, easy to install, lightweight. I'm really happy with these. They look good on the Jeep. I think this is the way to go. The factory stuff sometimes is the best. What do you think, Dixie? Ah, she doesn't care. All right, time to do the other side. There's a couple of a uh, couple of things I noticed while we're under here putting on these uh, step rails. Check that out, the Dana 35. Well, a lot of people are calling it a Dana 35. I don't know if that's really what it is yet or not. But anyway, the new standard axle on the Sport model has a drain plug now, and it never had one before. So that's really cool. That'll make servicing the axle so much easier. And then uh, over here, you can see that the... Oh, come on, camera. The transfer case shifter and the transmission shifter are completely cable operated there. Looks like a whole much... Uh, a whole... <laughs> whole lot sturdier, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, a little bit more rugged than the JK setup. So the drive shaft still has those Rosepa joints, CV joints on it instead of a traditional U joint. So I guess time will tell how well that holds up. All right, sorry for the poor video, but here's the finished product. Uh, fits like a glove as you would expect gives you really good coverage and uh, so that's what they look like these are the Mopar factory steps for the Jeep JL Wrangler they come in these really big boxes so that's going to be a wrap took us about what did it take us about 20 minutes to put those on about 20 minutes you could do it yourself but it helps to have a extra hand to hold them up there so pretty uh pretty quick and easy afternoon install all right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks.